Hello everyone, so now we are going to do the lab. In our previous class, just we discussed what is VLAN, some basic theory we learned, now we are going to do the lab. So this is the packet tracer I am using, if you see this is a version, I am using 8.2. Even if you have the new version, maybe Cisco released the new version, I think this is only the latest one. But anyhow, when you are watching this video, try to download the latest version, whatever available. Okay, so click here, then this is a 2906, this model I am using, I will drag and drop here. Okay, let me put the label, I will say SW. And now I am going to take some PC, if you see I will take this is a PC1. PC2 and then I will take PC3 and PC3 and uh, 2 and 3. I will rename this one. I will put the IP address here, just label. So by seeing that label, we know which IP we assign to which computer. So I will go to this machine, click the desktop, go to the IP config, press here and no need for the gateway. We don't have the gateway. We are not using the router. That's all. Here I will give the IP as a 1.2 so this should be 192.168 1.2 I will go inside desktop I will go to the IP configuration I will put here same procedure I am going to follow for this one also 1.3 okay and then I will go here and I will put this as a 1.4 but I did not assign the IP here I think so let me go here inside click the desktop click the IP configuration and assign the IP here okay same thing I will do here also, click here, desktop, click the IP configuration, press, uh, put the IP here, I think this is a 1.4 and this is the default subnet mask, class C subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, whatever subnet mask you are getting, keep that one, okay. And now I will take the cable, if you don't know which cable shall be used, the straight cable or cross cable, which cable, if you are confused, just click here and take automatically the device is going to detect that cable. So this is a straight cable. If you are connecting the different device then we are using the straight cable. If you are connecting to the same device then we are using the cross cable. Okay, but nowadays there is a smart device cable itself is going to adjust. The port of the switch is going to adjust itself in the new model. But anyhow no issue. Take the automatic cable and connect here. Take the automatic cable, connect here take the automatic cable and connect here. Okay, so now I have the PC and if you want to make the communication between this PC, you can make, if you see this one, the umbert color, this is because of the STP, spanning tree protocol. I hope you remember before we discuss the STP. STP is nothing but spanning tree protocol. This spanning tree protocol remove the loop in the L2 network, like in the L3 network we are using the TTL value. We are using the TTL value so with the help of TTL value we can destroy the packet in the L3 network but in the L2 network we are having the STP spanning tree protocol. Like in the BGP we are saying split horizontal rule. Same like uh, here we can say L3, L2 is using the spanning tree protocol to remove the loop from the network. Okay. And let's go to the machine. I will go to the command prompt and let me type here IP config just to get the IP address. Just to check the IP address. This is my IP address. Now I need to communicate this PC 1.4. So I will write here ping 192.168.1.4. So it is working perfectly because all are in the same VLAN. So what I will do, I will ping 1.2 this PC. 1.2 so it will also work because they are in the same VLAN then I will uh, ping this 1.3 so let me ping here 1.3 so this is also working all are in the same VLAN that's why they are working perfectly but example if I change maybe your manager told you put the PC 192 168 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2 in the VLAN 10 okay let me write here your manager give you some task okay your manager give you some task they are saying put let me write here first task is put pc 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.2 in vlan 10 okay and second one is 
output pc pc 192.168.1.3 and pc and we can write 192.168.1.4 in vlan 20 okay this is the task your manager give before that one he told you create vlan 10 name it and vlan 20 vlan 20 name sales okay so this is your task you need to do as per your manager request you need to do this one so what we are going to do we are we are going to create two vlan vlan 10 and we are going to give the name as a it we are going to create one more vlan that is a vlan 20 we are going to give the name as a sales okay and this two PC 192, 1.2 means this two PC should be in the VLAN 10. This two PC, PC should be in the VLAN 20. So let me differentiate with the color. So easily we can track by seeing the color. This area, this PC belongs to which VLAN. Okay. So this should be, I will, we can take any color. I am taking this color. Okay. Just to differentiate the different VLAN. How we can differentiate uh, by seeing the color. So we can say this is a VLAN 10, name is IT, okay, and this is a VLAN 20 area, name is, I can give the name as a sales, okay, so these are the two different area, this side PC will be in the VLAN 10 and this side PC will be in the VLAN 20, so now we need to do the configuration, so let me take the CLI of the switch. So if you see here, this is a CLI of the switch, console of the switch. First of all, I will do the basic configuration, enable config T, then I will change the name of the switch as a SW, and then I need to create the VLAN. How we will create, we will write the VLAN and give the number. We need to create the VLAN 10 and then write name and give the name whatever you want to give. Then you will write the VLAN and give the number, whatever the number you want, and then again give the name so with this we will create the two vlan if you want to check you can write do show vlan brief if you see here we have this two vlan here but if you see we don't have any port all ports are in the vlan one only all ports are in the vlan one and here if you see we created two vlan we create the vlan 10 we give the name as a it we create the vlan 20 we give the name as a sales but we don't have any port so now we need to put the port if you see here what is the port we have here this one and this one we have fast ethernet 0 by 0 okay fast ethernet 0 by 1 and fast ethernet 0 by 2 so this two port we should put in the vlan 10 so let me do now so i will go here i will write interface range i will use the range command so i can select the multiple interface i can select the two interface at the same time that's why I'm using the range command. So I selected this two interface. Then I will write here switch port mode axis. Then I will write switch port axis VLAN 10 because I need to put with this command. I move this two port in the VLAN 10. Even if you did not give this command, no issue because this one we are making this port as a axis port. We are making axis port for security purpose. We are using this one. No need to worry if you don't know this one later we are going to discuss in detail in CCNP this one. Okay. So now if you go under that interface even if you type only this command it will work no issue. So one side we finish now I need to look this interface fast ethernet 0 by 3 and 0 by 4. So I will exit this I will write interface range fast ethernet 0 by 4 or 0 by 3 dash 4. So I selected sorry I selected what? I selected 3 okay I selected fast ethernet 0 by 3 this one and 0 by 4 now I need to write switch port mode axis then I write switch port axis VLAN 20 so this way I move the VLAN 20 port also if you want to check you can write here show VLAN brief if you see here in the VLAN 10 we have fast ethernet 0 by 1 0 by 2 in the VLAN 20 we have fast ethernet 0 by 3 0 by 4 so this way we move the port in that particular VLAN. Now you can test it will work 
let me try this one spanning tree protocol is taking some time no issue meanwhile we will go to this pc1 i am going to make the communication from pc1 to pc2 this one they are in the same vlan so they will work no issue if you see here they are in the same vlan they are working perfectly let me show you again pc1 that is 192.168.1.1 1 .1 can communicate with 1.2 no problem but if you ping 1.3 it will not work this is a 1.3 both are in the different vlan different vlan cannot communicate if you see before it is working but now it is not working okay before it is working but now it is not working so what we can say different vlan cannot communicate okay different vlan cannot communicate okay so if you want to test the other one that is 1.4 also check it will also not work if you see it will not work not working so with this one we can say that different vlan cannot communicate you need to remember different vlan cannot communicate only same vlan can communicate so what we learn in this one in this one we learn how we can create the vlan how we can put the interface in that vlan and after that we test different vlan cannot communicate same vlan can communicate we test this one in our next class we are going to take one more switch and we are going to test if we have two switch how we can configure what is the difference between the configuration we are going to check that one okay 